In this video we're going to take a look at how we configure automatic numbering for DDM. If we log into DDM, if I take a look at my recent items, there's a document here that's already created within DDM and I'm going to use that as the basis for a new document. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to save it back to DDM but I'm going to use save as to create a copy of this document and you'll see um, the document name has been cleared allowing me to add a new document number and description click on OK and my new document is added to DDM so at this point Automatic numbering has not been configured or switched on within DDM and so we're free to assign our own document names. If we open the administration module, logging in as administrator, if we look on the left at our config tab here, we have we have the option to turn on automatic numbering for parts and assemblies for drawings and for documents. I'm going to turn it on for documents and we're going to select predefined by request. If we need to give part numbers to our models and assemblies in the 3D CAD system we would switch on um, part number generation and if we need part number generation for our 2D CAD um, for AutoCAD for example we could switch on uh, automatic number generation for drawings. So that simply switches on automatic number generation but how do we configure it? If we come to Tools and select Automatic Number Administration, then here we can um, select our numbering rules. So I'm going to just look at Documents, and there's one numbering rule set up for Documents, which is this Default Documents rule, which simply gives us a, a sequential uh, numbering rule. I want to create and add a new rule, and this one is going to be called CSI documents. This is available to documents. The prefix is going to be CSI and the last incrementing number is going to be 10. So I'm actually going to start from 10. The OK button is hidden under here because of my limited screen resolution. If I click on OK that will create my new numbering rule. So we can close this and we'll minimize this. If we take this document that we've just created, we'll open it again and let's just make a change to the document and save back again. This time we'll use Save As uh, to create a copy of the document and now that we've switched on automatic number generation we have a generate number button. If I select this then I can select between the different numbering rules. If I select CSI documents then it's selecting CSI 11. If I select default documents it's starting from 1. So let's select CSI documents and uh, description is again getting started and we'll click on OK. So we've now switched on automatic number generation and begin and begun to configure um, our numbering system. We're just going to take a look at one more option within the numbering configuration. So automatic number administration. I'm going to add uh, another numbering type for documents, and this one is going to be called user user defined. Again this is available to documents. This time I'm not going to set up any rules, I'm just going to switch on the free text rule. And so now with that created we'll take a look at what options that gives us within DDM. So here's the last document that we created. Again we'll open the document and we'll make a change and let's save this back. So again we're going to use Save As. And this time if I select to generate a number you'll see we have a user defined rule. And when I use the user defined rule I'm free to type in any name that I like for my document. So in this case I'm going to call it XXX 
one. And so you can see we can override any predefined numbering rules by setting up a user-defined rule. Okay, with that complete, we can save that. And we've now configured and set up another numbering rule within the system that allows users to bypass the predefined numbering rules. So this is a quick overview of how we can set up automatic numbering within DDM.